Mike 1 on Mike 2. That's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mike 3, Joel Creasy. Yeah. Come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. We'll count you in. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, hanging out with friends. Making some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> Oh, yes, we're just reading some of the text messages, Joel Creasy. Welcome to Thursday afternoon. Hey, hey. Uh, can, the, uh, can the text be read out? Or? <laughs> we were talking in the warm-up. I mean, I hate to say, look, it's your story about you weighed yourself in the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> well, someone's got a new stage name for you. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's, it's not good. Joel Greasy, is it? No. <laughs> no, but that's good. <laughs> what is it, Sylvia Jeffries? Oh, why do you make me say it? No, it's okay. I've got it's thick skin. Jolly Crease. <laughs> <laughs> He's flipped it. Thank you, uh, Christian. Get in text yeah. anytime. 04800 <laughs> Um uh, We've got so much on the show today. We're talking mini skirts today, which I'm very excited about. An interesting follow up to the boob tube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Having a real 90s week. <laughs> Don't let it slip. <laughs> you know, always <laughs> fixing it. Um, yeah, you're bringing this story to the table, Joel, but mini skirts are back. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Um, and also, we're going to talk to you about, because we, we're big on, on this show about those calming apps, you know, those yes. ones where people, yep. uh, you know, like fall 10%. asleep to Harry Styles and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, Joel's done one, actually. It's really us. beautiful. Yeah, if you want to just relax tonight. Holding hands, we stroll <laughs> until we chance upon a brook. Um, Pink <laughs> has done one, and we're going to do the, uh, get to that in a second. Right. What? Our rock queen. Oh, wow. The rock goddess herself. Alicia. How can Alicia. you go to sleep? Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chat about that in a second. It's Bieber to kick us off. Kate, Tim and Joel. Thank you, Justin Bieber. This is... Nova, happy Thursday afternoon. Mum always says that even as a baby, <laughs> other babies were crying and and in, in a sort of monotonal way. But if I'd call out to mum rather than mum, like other kids, I would go mum, <laughs> you know, instead of mum. That's of course, Mister G. <laughs> I've been watching that clip over and over today. It's so good um, because we're talking about mums. Mum. Um, <laughs> And um, mums discuss, have they embarrassed you? Mums embarrass you. 13, 24, 10. When did mum embarrass you? Maybe it was at work, like this next story. Yeah, Miles. Miles' oh, mum. Miles. Miles' mum embarrassed him at work. This made me laugh today. Um, he's a TV reporter from Ohio. Yeah. And he was standing in the street. You know, maybe it's the biggest story of his life. I don't know. But he oh. reports for um, local news station ABC6. And he's in the oh, middle of a live report. You know, cameras rolling. Mike in hand, and <laughs> up behind him pulls up his mum in the car, mm. rolls down the window, and this happens. Is it because of the... This is my mum. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to work right now. You over there calling my phone. This is D'Angelo. You can say hi. And don't be holding up traffic because you got cars behind you. <laughs> Did you record that? Oh, wow. Oh, she's oh, so proud. Is proud. <laughs> she's hey, so baby. proud. Oh, look at him. What oh, an awful my. part of America that looks like, too, oh. in other news. <laughs> she looks like as awful oh, as it gets. Quite often when you're reporting on the news, it's yes. not in a very nice place. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, yes, very true. Mum, embarrassing you. Has it happened to you, Joel? Oh, I mean, it's, I mean constantly. Because mm. when I started doing stand-up... I was 16, so mum had to take me to my gigs and sign me into the venue because they were all licensed. Mm. And I remember once I, I, mum and I actually judged a comedy competition together and because, um, you know, her, her eye for comedy is just, you know, <laughs> incredible. And she lost her – she'd had a few wines and she lost her pen, so she was just marking down, like, a, beside which actually, like, dipping her finger in red wine and, like, putting, like, a dot <laughs> next to each comedian <laughs> she really enjoyed. <laughs> Looks like you do on Game of Thrones. Right. I know. Like a goblet of wine. Oh, mum. <laughs> mum. 13, 24, 10. Uh, jump on the phone. Tell us where mum's gotten involved. Has she rocked up to work? Maybe it was at school. And your mum, of course, is a woman. Here's Doja Cat now. I love this song. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. The time. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mums are women. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, Doja. 
here on Nova, Kate, Tim and Joel, Sylvia, Jeffrey taking out with us this week. It's bringing a bit of rainbow to our lives, you know? Bringing a bit of rainbow to the week. All the colours. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, very soon I'm going to tell you what special day it is today and what we're going to be celebrating in here in a sec. Okay. Um, and also Pink's kind of calming app or meditation. I just can't imagine, <laughs> no. you know, the rock god herself you know, yeah. calming anyone. Putting no. you to sleep. No, it's no. like ACDC releasing one, I you know? know. It's like, this is too hardcore, guys. <laughs> she gets, re- she gets me down. ready to take on the world. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fierce. Mm. Mm. Stick it fierce. to the man. <laughs> Um, we're talking mums. Lewis! Lewis! Mum! Mum, mum, mum. Um, this mum rocked up to a live news report. Yes, mm. by her son. Yeah. Um, in Ohio. Should we revisit Very it? Cute. Yeah, play yeah, it play again. It's cute. Let's do it. It's cute. It's cute. Let's do it. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Just play it. Play it. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Just play it. It's cute. Is it cousin? This is my mum. Hold on. Uh uh. <laughs> I'm trying to work right now. You order call on my phone. This is D'Angelo. You can say hi. And don't be holding hey, up traffic because you got cars behind you. Oh, he's embarrassed, but he's also really proud. He loves it. Yeah. It's cute. What is fun, having done a few live crosses, it is fun when something happens. It is. <laughs> like otherwise, we're just chatting down the barrel. Yeah. Oh, are yeah. you saying news reports are boring? Not all of them, but <laughs> some of them. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Tori, what happened? Uh, my mum came into my work office with my cat in a pram. Oh, my God. Mm, that's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> very very <laughs> gang. Had the cat ever been in a pram before or was that a new thing? Um, no, she usually takes it for walks down the street in the pram, um, but she took it up a level by bringing it to work. Yeah, cats um, going on a walk discuss. I know. That's weird. a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> cats in a pram? They do that themselves, yeah. Mm, yeah. In a pram. Yeah. Yeah, like cats love walking around themselves. Don't need to walk yes. down the streets on a leg. They want to do everything themselves. They're so independent. Mm. I mean, they're independent women. Yeah, yeah like that's right. Destiny's Child would say. Yeah. yeah. Beyonce. I think that song was about cats. It was. Wasn't it? Was yeah. it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay. Um, and also, we, who could we forget? James Corden in Cats. Do we have that? Dan, can you get that for me? Oh, I think we, we should forget that. it. <laughs> can you put that up on my wall one for us? Uh, as we chat to Lockie. G'day, Lockie. What happened? G'day, guys. Um, when I was an apprentice, my um, mum rang me and she's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, just working on a roof. And she said, oh, too hot for that. So she rang my boss and um, asked him to get me off the roof. <laughs> that's, that's lovely, mum. And then my boss rings me and said, oh, your mum rang and uh, she asked if she could get off the roof. And um, <laughs> what I was working with just <laughs> looked at me and laughed. <laughs> I'm Buster for Jones. I'm not skin and bones. In fact, I'm remarkably fat. Oh, God. good on you, James. Another oh, role that you just ruined. Oh. That's my new theme tune. <laughs> <laughs> After weighing myself this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just had that lined up. Wow. You've got everything. Wow. I really, really, really do. A um, couple of texts in. Yeah. Lou mm-hmm. says, I rocked up to my post-formal party and my olds were there, oh. drunk. With my friend's parents. Oh. How dare they? Yeah. And this one from Krogger. Oh, look at Krogger. Mom what are your mates? <laughs> <touch>. Krogger. <laughs> Mum organised a singing telegram who was dressed as a chicken to surprise me in the middle of school. Oh, my God. Oh, Mum. Mum. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Too much disposable money. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Get a job, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> Put down the savvy bay. Uh, g'day, Jenny. What's happened to you? Oh, that's my mum's name. Oh, there you go. Hi guys. Um, so, so my mum turned up um, when I was doing some promo work at a bottle shop. Um, I was giving out samples. The whole idea is to like drive sales. So I'm talking to this customer, um, trying to get them to buy a bottle of like this alcohol. And my mum just walks in, um, completely interrupts the conversation. The guy's just standing there, um, and she goes, "Oh, can I just give you this?" And hands me a whole bunch of shopping, and then just like. Starts pulling out all her shopping and goes, This is what I've bought, blah, blah, blah. Went to the oh. stands, there was a sale on. <laughs> oh, oh mum. Bad timing, mum. Bad time, bad yeah. t- time and a mom. place, mum. <laughs> You've got so, Midori illusions to move. I know, yeah. that's right. Shift those Midori.
Okay, go on, let's have a margarita. Okay, go on, let's have a margarita. Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. I was thinking what song, you know, encompasses bartenders. This one. So there's plenty, plenty of songs about having a good time. And this is good because it's, um, well, bartender day. Is right. it? Yeah. Let's How? have a margarita. Are we going to celebrate? Yeah. Well, I, I met a couple of bartenders <laughs> last night. I wasn't going to do that tonight. Oh, okay. You know, but maybe I should pay them a visit. <laughs> we could Give it twist a your arm. A big day. Uh, no, it's um, described as a day to celebrate the craft, a day to celebrate the bartender, and a day uh, dedicated to one of the world's oldest professions, which I always thought was prostitution. Well, um, one of yeah, the world's yeah, oldest popular. Yeah. Pro- yeah, I mean, there's yeah. more than one. Mm. Yes. Old professions. Yes. One yeah, follows goes, the other. Yes. Yeah. Prostitution, bartender, influencer. Are, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, good. Yeah. Been around since the beginning of time. In like, that order. I thought blacksmith mm. would have been in there, but you're right. No, influencers certainly <laughs> there. Very. Yeah, well, it's nice that we can all get out and see our local bartenders good, these isn't days. It? Isn't it lovely? Mm. Go and pay them to visit this weekend. Uh, coming up soon, Pink and the Car Map. But next, are you mad for a miniskirt? 13, 24, 10. Are you back into the miniskirt? Tim and Joel. Yeah, Lost Frequencies, Callum Scott as well. Where are you now? We are here. We're here with you till six o'clock after five. Uh, brand new quick draw guest, Sylvia. You are playing this quick draw guest. I'm so. Do you have any idea who it is? I've got no idea. Okay, good. That's good. That's how we like it. I like I've a surprise. In- yeah, I've got an inkling and they're very good. Oh, if that's oh, yeah. the case. Well, that makes me nervous. Yes. Yeah, but I got your back, babe. I got okay, your back. Thanks, babe. Yeah. And like you, nice. match fit, you know, work work on the daily. Great. Like, so, you know, match fit. We haven't got him in off, you know, a bender or, or you know, six months of no work <laughs> or anything. Okay. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have minded that. No, I know. No. Yeah. I like it when my competitors have a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, we were talking boob tubes earlier this week. Now it's time to turn our attention to the miniskirt. How nice. And we're asking you to call on 13 24 10. Are you mad for a miniskirt? Ladies, fellas. Get in touch. 13, 24, 10. Are you mad for a mini skirt? For sure. They've had this 90s style and fashion has had a mad resurgence. Mm. Um, the low rise micro mini skirt, as they're calling it, by uh, Mew Mew. Very stylish. Oh, yes. Mew Mew. I wouldn't be um, cheap. No, not, not from Mew Mew. Mew. Not from Mew Mew. <laughs> has uh, inspired the resurgence of the of the low rise skirt. Now, it first made waves when, of course, Nicole Kidman wore it recently on the cover of Vanity Fair. Which oh, yeah, that was very low, wasn't it? Very low, divided a lot of people. Um, <laughs> it's since been seen on the likes of um, Hayley Bieber, Zendaya. I mean, they're, they're all bloody doing it. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> Yes. Now you can actually get replicates of the skirt. They're on, um, you know, ASOS and um, mm. oh, yeah, there's Fashion Haley. Nova. Never heard of Fashion that. Nova. F- is that uh, is that us? So one of our branches is that on the Nova Player app? <laughs> I know on Fashion Nova. <laughs> Buy Kate's old mini skirts. Um, <laughs> Nova Naughties. <laughs> Nova. They sell well, actually. Yeah, they would actually. Oh, they would. Um, now, during New York Fashion Week, a lot of men would month, buy those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 from the UK. Um, <laughs> during um, New York Fashion Week this month, micro mini skirts were cemented mm. as a 2022 staple. With a lot of the designers doing shows um, featuring the skirts in their collections, and some are saying that this is the end of the beloved. Oh, okay, not my words. High waist. And marks the return of the low rise mm. culture. I'm not letting go of the high waist. You like the high rise? I've had the two children waist. in quick succession. <laughs> I'm keeping my waist high, <laughs> as high as possible, basically to my armpits. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, fair enough. I quite like the look of these because it's a bit like the denim shorts where the, the pocket's showing. I still quite like that. Oh, like Jessica Simpson in the Dukes <laughs> yeah. of Hazzard. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, show me your pockets, just the bottom of them. I love bottom a pair of your of Daisy pockets. Yeah, see, like if your pockets are longer than your short hems, yeah, you're doing cruel? it wrong. <laughs> you are doing it wrong. Yeah, all right. Either that, or you've just got incredibly good pins, and I'm jealous. Yeah, maybe <laughs> that might <laughs> be it. Um, and no, no love for the mini skirt on the phone. That's so weird, isn't it? Well, maybe really? it's just us that love it. Maybe, maybe boys shouldn't bring up women's fashion <laughs> as a topic. <laughs> Hang on, isn't it Alex Perry and stuff? And what's I can't, yeah, I don't think Alex Perry's doing mini skirts, but I'd love it if he did. He's not. No, but he no. always talks fashion. Like, you know, when you do on the Today Show all the, like, yeah. you know, the, all the, how the people were dressed fashion, at the Oscars. Fashion the police. fashion police. There's fashion always police. a couple of blokes in Emergency there. fashion police. Yeah. We prefer Hans on our fashion police these days. Oh, yes. Extra. 
Oh, yeah, Hans. 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 Oh, Hans. Hans the German. Hans the German. Oh, I love Hans. Mm. Brings a bit mm. of flair to it. Yeah. Absolutely. I've seen, well, I've seen a lot of um, men wearing mini skirts lately. Have yeah. you? Yes, I have. In the lead up to Mardi Gras. Yeah, or just in yeah, general. possibly more in the circles I rock in. But I reckon, no, I reckon some of your rock stars are wearing them on stage. I think they're Oh, young blood, young blood Harry loves Styles. the little yes. Harry Styles would go there. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. For sure he would. He was a bit more classic, though, I think. Yeah. I think Harry's a bit more classic when he wears skirts, don't you think? A bit longer. Like a kilt. Yeah, maybe. No, and young blood wears a mini skirt on stage, a little netball skirt. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll mm. start doing the mini skirt, you know, into, into work. Mm. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. No? yeah. Oh, maybe not with my current <laughs> no, Yeah, I didn't want to say I'm a bit curvy at the moment. I was going to bring up the scales, but I thought, oh. Are you ready, boots? Uh, g'day, g'day, Tina. You love the mini. Oh, do I ever. Oh, yeah. Where do you wear it? Or just Is it an everyday thing or like just on a Friday night? <laughs> no, it's not. A, oh, it depends how I'm feeling in the morning. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's mood dependent. Are you a George Costanza mood dresser? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Same. But, but see, whereas yeah. I think if you put on something that makes you feel great, then you'll feel great. Yeah, it's true. Well, that's it. Mini skirt, boots. <laughs> Anything on the top, <laughs> boob tube? <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, no. No, not the boob tube. All right, what not do you wear no. with the mini then? It's a tea or something? No, I wear a nice long jacket <laughs> and you can just. The skirt. Oh, I love that, Tina. Oh. <laughs> wow. Stay there, Tina. You're in the running for the 50k tomorrow. Oh, I hope Tina wins. Awesome. I want to- Tina's so amazing. Much. I can buy some more minis. <laughs> for it. Love it. <laughs> it's time for Gail and up next. Yes, Pinky's going to relax us after that. Wow. Getting a little bit sweaty in here now. I'm hot. I turned the lights down. <laughs> Need a shorter skirt. Kate, Tim, and Joel. We've got something that the doctor ordered, Joel Creasy. Yes. Yeah, Pink's back, guys. And not with a tour or a new album, unfortunately. Oh. Something better, almost. Something she can better. Do it all. Yeah, she can. This is just the instrumental version, by the way. <laughs> because I didn't realise there was one. Pink's like the pocket knife of artists. She know, she's is got it all going on. Swiss Army knife. <laughs> and she'll happily stab you. <laughs> yeah, she will. Like, if you're wrong, her, she'll shank you. <laughs> or get something out of your teeth. Remember, this: the, my Swiss Army knife has a toothpick. Does oh, it? Oh, for sure. It does. Is it the only part of the Swiss Army knife you've ever used? I've used the scissors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good for you. I've actually she, used bits of it. Have you? Pink wouldn't need the bottle opener. She'd just, she'd do it. Oh, teeth yeah. Or <gasps> she'd smash it on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She wouldn't care. <laughs> she'd use this little scissors to, like, you know, cut extra holes in her cargo pants. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Her three quarter cargo pants, because you've got to check out those ankles. I know, because she's got plenty of storage. She's got everything you need <laughs> oh, any does. time of day. Very you know what practical. sort of girl. She's very practical. Yeah, yeah pockets are full of hits. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Full of hits. And also, when you're when you're suspended from the roof of Rod Laver Arena, you know you need so, you know you might need an up and go or something. You get Absolutely. tired up there. Or it's a in one of the pockets. Absolutely, it's in the pockets. Or a monster. <laughs> yeah, she, she would drink monster. And you know, in the morning she drink dare ice coffee, mate, because she is that hardcore. Absolutely, she would. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pink. She had a little a pager, a pager on her belt buckle mm. that just has Rove's number in it. Really? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. They're best friends. Are they besties? Well, she's in Australia. I totally. didn't yeah, know And that. promoting something. Oh well, <laughs> lucky Rove. Oh, where do you say that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, she's back, guys. She's back. Do you have this? Do I have this? This is my. I've story. got it. I, I've got it. If you'd like it. Yeah, because um, this is—I mean, this is huge. Mm. She's a you know hero. Uh, Pink. She's teamed up with the Car Map finally. Yeah, um, we've got the produce, Car Map. Yeah, to produce her own <laughs> bedtime <laughs> stories called "Wait for This: The Pink Sheet." Hi, this oh. is Pink, and I've got a bedtime secret that will make you think. Oh dear. Um, my kids listen to Chris Hemsworth and Tyka at night doing the oh, that's nice. doing the meditation. They're brilliant. That would be very good. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, this is, a, this is a story. It's based around a character called Ring, mm. um, who gathers. Hang on, a Ring team. with an exclamation mark or with an eye? <laughs> oh, it's with an eye. She's missed an opportunity there. Oh, she really has. <laughs> what oh, Ring just mate. normally spelt? Normally spelt. Silly. Yeah, she she must save save the exclamation mark for herself. That's her. 
her thing. Just yeah. to share thing. it with Reen. Um, <laughs> no. Reen gathers a team of real imaginary misfits to create the coolest show on earth. I thought that was her tours. <laughs> um, well, I, I think there's a bit of crossover here with the tours. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to read you a little bit of it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on. So we need to be, got... I'll give you the trailer okay. first, okay. and then and then we'll do you doing it. Once upon a calm kids in a land chock full of snooze, sleep stories help get your nights back with calming tales kids get to choose. Peppa Pig and Brother George want to help kids get to sleep. The minions guarantee chaos. That's a promise they can keep. Oh, see, I normally go to sleep listening to you in your hand. Uh, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I prefer Dear Mr. President. Oh, yeah. do you? I like something political to send me to sleep. What, what pink songs th- go, do you go to sleep with? Um, I, don't, I just go to, I go to sleep with the Malcolm Turnbull audio book. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's mm. okay. um, hang on, let's, let's give you some calm music. Okay. And you're going to give us a little bit of it right now. <clears throat> now let me tell you about Ring and her magical circus. But that's getting a little ahead of the story. Oh, I like it. You see, before Ring discovered her circus... She was a little girl, just like any other kid. Beautiful. Maybe even like you. Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> wow, ring, huh? That's, wow, that's really good. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Are you asleep yet? That was beautiful. It's <laughs> getting through the character name. Ring. <laughs> ring. It's a circus <laughs> ring, like a hula hoop. Oh, oh that sort of ring. Okay. All right, you never know with Pink. You know. You know, she's edgy. That's, no. you know, that's <laughs> like, Kate, oh, Tim and Joel. Kate, Tim and Joel with Sylvia Jeffries helping us out this week. It's been so nice. Thanks for hanging out, oh, eating gosh, chips and having me. talking mini skirts. snack cupboard. Yeah, I Great know. snack cupboard. You guys were a bit jealous when I came to see you at Channel 9 on Tuesday. We Channel 9. Mm. No way. Well, mm. their snack cupboard in Sydney's had a glow up. Our snack cupboard in Melbourne is far superior. It is actually. Oh, is it? What yeah. do you have yeah. in there? Oh, we've got it all. That's why I've really stacked it on. We've got <laughs> la- la snacks, LCMs, tiny teddies, oh, anything delicious. you find in a child's lunchbox. <laughs> You'll is what find we it snack no, on. And also the mini it. cans of Coke, which I love because that's, yeah. that's the only amount you need. That's the amount you yeah. need. Yeah. I don't need a 1.25. No, no, no way. No. Nobody does. No. no. You're not mm. having pizza, or garlic bread. <laughs> no, pink might. Oh, of course. She She'd would. smash it. She'd wash down her mother with it. <laughs> She'd have a buddy on the go. You know one of those Coke buddies? Like 600 mil? Yeah. She's a, a she's a Coke buddy girl. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, Alicia. Just because of this. <laughs> they were always, like, what are you doing with that? How long are you, you going to drink that for? She doesn't like, care all day? it's cold, warm, all day. <laughs> She'll make it <laughs> <laughs> on screen. On screen. On screen. All right, this is where I flash up a entertainment story on the big screen. You tell us what's happening. What's happening in the world of glossies today? This is one for you, Joel. Is this <laughs> Daniel Just Radcliffe? It. It's Daniel Radcliffe. And he's playing Weird Al Yankovic in a yes. film? Yes. Yeah. white and dirty. Which I didn't think the world had ever asked for. No. <laughs> because the world asked for a Weird Al film. And a, a really strange choice. But I must say, I I love Daniel Radcliffe. I used to dream about being his best friend and moving in together. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're a Harry Potter. You're a Harry super Potter nerd. nerd. Yeah. I'm a, a pothead. Daniel Radcliffe is a super nerd. Is he? Oh, super, totally. Super, super nerd. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, like, kind of in a cool way. Yeah, 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 of course. Kind of um, not. But yeah, the nerds are the cool people now, yeah, you know? Elon right. Musk and exactly. all the others. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what's his name? <laughs> yes, I know. Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> Bezos. <laughs> Something like that. Um, yeah, first look photo of Daniel Radcliffe playing uh, Weird Al was released today, and it's called Weird, the Weird Al Yankovic Story. Yeah. So, you know, you might be into that. Everyone's getting biopics these days. Did you say biopic or biopic? Biopic. biopic? <laughs> I never know, so I don't say it. No, it's biopic. But do you know, I have a problem with it because, you know, in written word, it looks like biopic. Yes, yeah. It needs a hyphen between yeah. bio and pic. It's like the colour maroon. I only read it maroon. Oh, yeah. well, that's just silly. Is that silly? Yeah. The English language. It oh, alive. my God. We, if we don't have enough time. <laughs> oh, no. Let's, we don't have time to unpack that now. Um, <laughs> second, the English language. And men and women, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> and cats and dogs. <laughs> Uh, what is this? I don't know if I'm happy about this story. Do you know this story? Yes, I do. Yeah, go. Um, there's going to be an Australian version of The Office. Yeah. And look, the UK and the US offices are both, to me, 10 out of 10. Both of them. Yeah. They're both I'm excellent. not one or the other. I'm totes yeah. both. They're both great. Yeah, both. But I... you're not, you don't have any faith in this. This is going to be... Well, I don't know if Australians do sitcoms very well. 
No, okay. we don't. And th- there were a few names floating around, like Magda, um, Rachel Griffiths, because they're saying it'll be the um, a female boss. Mm. Um, and Isla Fisher, although she said, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. So she would do, be great. Do you know who I think would be great? Jane Kennedy. Yes. Jane Kennedy or Jane Turner, Kath. Oh, also, oh my God, might. the two Janes. Yeah, Put very good. It's a Gina, Gina, Gina Riley. It's a Jane off. Oh, yes, Ooh. totally. Also good. Or just do another Kath and Kim and make us all happy. Yeah, yeah I know. That's, that's yeah. the solution, yeah, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> um, and what's happening over here in this glossy picture? You guys are in love with this pic. It's a queen oh. off. It is a queen off. It's a queen off. It's Catherine and Crown Princess Mary of Denmark, our Mary. Our Mary. Tazzy's Mary. From the slip in in Sydney. Mm. Um, they're <laughs> together in Denmark. Kate's visiting in Denmark. And they're hanging out looking like sisters. Yeah, I was going yeah. coat Kate- shopping and scarf shopping. Kate's having to pick up a bit of the work at the moment because a few of the uh, members of the royal family are um, on the sidelines right now. They've uh, got COVID. Got COVID or um, in a bit of trouble. Other things. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Or they've chosen to leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and never return. Oh, yeah. oh, they're in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Talking yeah. to Oprah. Oh, no, going to the Super Bowl and stuff. I'm like, what's all that about? Yeah, so that was stop. They Just... went out for dinner with Eugenie the other day, too, I saw. Oh, what's yes. a Eugenie? Yeah. <laughs> a Eugenie <laughs> is a daughter of Andrew. Oh, Eugenie. No, you say Eugenie. Do you? Mm. Oh, well, no, you don't. <laughs> you do. No, it says Eugenie. Well, when you're royal, you say Eugenie. Oh, okay, there's Eugenie. Eugenie. Is that Andrew? Andrew's daughter. Andrew's daughter. Oh, Andy's daughter. Harry's cousin. Andy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Andy, right? <laughs> Andy. <laughs> and the English language, eh? Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Right, well. <laughs> uh, and finally, I love this story because it's Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, I don't know this I know story. this one yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. She had a baby. She did what? have a baby. <laughs> mm, the, baby. Yeah, the baby. The baby's arrived. Yeah. She's a mama. We have no sex or name. We know nothing about it. No. Other than that, it is no longer in... Side of her. No, that's right. You know how old she is? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. How old? How old do you think she is? Oh, um, 20... No. Seven, no. 34. One. 31. 31. That's my age. Yeah, there you go. She won an Oscar very early. I loved when she, she, her and Timothy Chamelay had that great interview with each other where they both said, like, when you win an Oscar real early, it's just so chilled after that. Oh. <laughs> And all the other actors, all the other actors are like, "Oh, piss off!" Oh no, poor Glenn Close. She's oh, four hundred and eighty-two. Kate, Tim, and Joel. This is Kate, Tim and Joel yes. on Nova. Yeah, tools are down. It's Thursday afternoon. The week is well and truly over. Let's just sign off on it. There's no mucking around now. Okay? I mean, over for you guys, perhaps. Oh, yeah, tell us what you're up to tonight. Well, I'm off to rehearsals tonight, but Saturday night on SBS, Australia decides, get involved, make your voice heard, Australia, or however we're promoting it. It'll be exciting. I saw the stage last night during rehearsal, and it is spectacular. And I woke up this morning to just a random photo with no, like, no text around it. <laughs> just a, just a photo. Oh, of the stadium. Just, where, no, that, I was, like, I'm like, is oh, that Billie that Eilish's amazing. tour or something? <laughs> yeah, it is a huge... It wasn't a very good photo, though, because I was trying to sneakily take it, because I think sometimes the producers think I'm going to take it and put it on Instagram, like yeah. a, I'm a complete oh. dum-dum. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm not posting this. The stage is so embargoed. Did you pretend like you were texting while you were taking <laughs> yeah. the photo? Always, yes. Yeah. And, and I am always texting, so it yeah, works it out fun. well for me. I can't wait to see your fashion. I do have some amazing outfits planned, as does Myth, as do some of the artists. One, one, oh, actually, I won't ruin it, but some costumes um, do some pretty spectacular things. Are we talking about some artists that are performing? We've talked about Paulini being in Paulini, town. Paulini, uh, Jaguar Jones. Oh, is beautiful. Favourite. Yes. Sean Miley Moore, Sheldon Riley, Voyager. Um, oh, Voyager. So, yeah, old school. Yeah. yeah great. Uh, it's going to be really fun. Something for everyone. No dragon. April Sun in Cuba getting a run. (laughs) Maybe that's had enough of a run lately. It's a resurgence. (laughs) You know those old songs have a resurgence. It's a quick draw day. That's coming up soon. Here's Ed. You're on Nova. Kate, Tim, and Joel. It is Nova, Kate, Tim and Joel, Sylvia Jeffries here with us today and this week. And I feel bad because like yesterday we were chatting club sandwiches and today yeah. we're about to chat porn at work. Like, yeah, thanks yeah. for being involved in our shtick. It's a bit dirty, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. 
Welcome um, to the show. We're not going to ask you anything about this. That's but... great. I'll just sit back and listen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Off you go. But uh, 13, 24, 10, like, well, it'll make sense in a second, but what are you doing? Should we say this? What about this? I was thinking about this in the, in the break, because people probably won't call up and say that they watch porn at work, but if you do call us, what if we say, what are you doing at work? That you know you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be doing. So, like, I'm using Jessica's favourite cup when she goes home, or you know, <gasps> right? Oh, I thought you meant our. Je- I thought you meant our Jess. I'm like, when have you ever referred to her as Jessica? <laughs> Do we have a Jess? <laughs> oh, we have a Jess. <laughs> so funny, Tim. Cup, Jess. <laughs> uh, Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. What are you doing at work that you probably shouldn't be doing? And also, mm. don't forget, you know, fifty k on the line. So if you are watching oh. Pion at work, yes, mm. I mean, just be good open reminder and about it. Yeah, <laughs> it's my favorite. It's my favorite part of the week. Uh, <laughs> according to a recent survey of two thousand people, five percent of people have admitted to watching adult content on a work device. So, of those who admitted to watching the videos, mm. wink, wink, nudge, nudge, on a work computer, mm. one third said they watched it for two. What? Just four hours of their work day. What? <laughs> Can you believe it? A further 20% of people admitted to watching X-rated content for between four and eight hours a day. But what? whoever gets past the 20-second mark, <laughs> 20, 30 <laughs> seconds, then you job done. Some people really love the backstory. <laughs> I wouldn't know any of this. Yeah. I need oh, you context. scrub forward a little bit. Yeah, right. No, yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, right. Yeah, I need to know how the postman came to be, you know, in the lounge room. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> or the bloke with the colosh at the hotel. Why, yeah. is, why does he have an erection all of a sudden? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> you were just dropping my dinner off. He's only just met him. <laughs> um, I know. This is not, this is not healthy. <laughs> well, no wonder they're on for two to four hours. Then, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now, of those who watch <laughs> all the content, mm-hmm. um, 17% of, of people admitted to browsing social media and 15% messaged their friends while watching. Oh, message like, their friends while watching. Well, I guess you could be on Instagram and watching it on your computer screen at the same time or... Yeah, well, I, and we've discussed that Twitter is just... There's no rules on Twitter. So it's like passive watching. Yeah, it's just on because it's, like it's like a blanket. It's got it on the background. <laughs> it's like, like having friends. the news on in the background. Yeah, yeah. or yeah, friends. You always have the news yeah. on in the background. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of the same. It's just the same mm. thing, I suppose. <laughs> You're just not keeping up to date. Horses. You're keeping up the date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very good. You're very pleased with this. Oh, I am. Yeah. I am. Well, someone's got to be. Um, I know. I mean, I, I've got. I've got to be. I've got to stop doing it while we're you know on air. It isn't. It's. it's <laughs> I've noticed you're very distracted at the yeah. moment. <laughs> I don't think you really are there for your revision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming something in a hotel room. <laughs> don't call it big glitter strip or nothing. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. That's uh, what I want. Maybe you're watching Little Nas X film clips at work because that is borderline piano. I love Little Nas. I know. Some of the film clips are fantastic though. Mm. 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 This was a study mm. of people um, <laughs> watching X-rated content at work. Yeah, um, it was a survey conducted by IT support. Oh no, they're an IT support company called Totality Services, and that is information that's really not required for this story. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> useful. Be- yeah. People have admitted to... 5% of people have admitted to watching adult content on a work device, on their work essentially. Device. I mean, I guess if you've been working from home and stuff as well, the the lines get a bit blurred. We've all done a bit of online shopping while we're at work. Oh, God. Oh, I is think that what we're calling it, is it? <laughs> okay. All right. I think actually you, babe. our reception area here is only set up so the receptionists can do iconic returns. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all well, I see them do. I like just, yeah, yeah, just put it in there. We don't all have time to go to the post office. No, that's right. And do you buy buy like all the sizes, and then that, that way you yeah, send... get a couple of sizes. Yeah, oh, right. I don't want to be doing two returns. No, no, that's no. Right. Yeah, fair enough. That's fair weird. enough. Okay, Maria, um, what are you doing at work that you probably shouldn't be? Oh man, um, it's definitely not online content. Um, mm. But as a nurse, I couldn't tell you a single one of my colleagues. You haven't done a cheeky fart when you when you're next to someone and blame me on the patient. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Pretty great! Naughty nurses. Not so sneaky, Maria. <laughs> uh, Sarah, oh, this is interesting. Hello, hello, Sarah. What are you doing at work that you probably shouldn't be? Well, it's actually not me. It's my partner. He's he's a tradie, and he sends me some sexy pictures during the day. Oh, in oh. his high vis gear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I've got a lot of questions. 
I've got a lot of questions, Sarah. So, like, is it him on the, like, you know, on, on side? Is it him holding a dare ice coffee <laughs> over his crotch? Is he on the tools? <laughs> he, yeah, he's, oh, he's just sitting in a truck and you'll get a peek every now and again. And, yes. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do you have our text line number? No, I don't. But oh, I for 831 cases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so what, 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 what kind of, give us, give us a little vibe of one of them. I think that's what we're getting at. Um, he, well, the last one I got was he was in the truck and the hard hat was on the side and a lovely picture of the shorts and oh. a bit less than the shorts. So yes. <laughs> what you're saying is he still has his hard hat? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Right. Okay. That's good. I'm following. Oh, thanks, Erin. Mm. You read it on the chat screen there. They're, keep, they're keeping things spicy, aren't they? Well, I think we That's assumed right. what was happening. Mm. <laughs> what did Erin say? She wrote duck pics. Erin, oh. Oh, <laughs> she, she doesn't miss a beat, Erin. No, I know. Oh, She's got her finger on the pulse. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Kate, Tim, and Joel. I'm on the go, mate. I'm busy, busy, busy. Kate, Tim, and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Right around this carousel, if you catch my drift. Been getting into right Oliver Tree lately. I reckon you'd like Oliver Tree. Yeah, yeah. sounds pretty good. These cowboys don't cry. Right I reckon they do sometimes. Yeah, in private. Yeah, yeah. They get broke back mountain they horse or something. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure they broke back they cried, didn't they? Absolutely. Yeah. And other and other things. <laughs> yeah. Do you cry before or after? It was, it's a beautiful film. It's actually the most beautiful it's such a beautiful film and a beautiful soundtrack. It is lovely, oh isn't it? Oh my gosh! Oh, the when Michelle Williams sees them making out down down downstairs and she's in the kitchen, oh, it gets me every time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know I always bring times. everything back to Family Guy, but have you seen um, Brokeback Mountain from the position of the horses? No. <laughs> it's like when the horse just goes, where are the guys? It's, uh, it's getting pretty getting pretty late. And then uh, the horse walks over to the tent. Oh, actually, it's better if I play it. Thanks, yeah. Dan. The sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Oh, help! Oh, what? 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 That's better than me doing it. Um, our next quick draw guest is here. Are they in the building? Oh, oh my god! Okay. I think I just saw a glimpse of them. I'm oh gonna, my god! I'm gonna need a barocca or a dare ice coffee. Oh dare! Hey. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Yeah, Kate, Tim, and Joel with Chrissy Swan this week. Oh, I was, well, actually, I've just wrecked it with Sylvia Jeffries this week and a mystery guest. Our Ooh. next guest is an OG of reality TV. I laugh until I leave. She has a wicked sense of humour. Everyone's face. She's Unnecessary one of the most now. quick draw competitors <laughs> ever. Avocado, Jam, Jam plush toy, Kuda, Harry, Sloth. She puts the Chrissy and Chrissy Salmon Brownie. Our sister from another mister. Please welcome. Chrissy Swan. Oh, there you are. Chrissy. How thrilling. I feel like I'm walking down the gantry in 2003, oh, fresh from the Big Brother house again. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. What a Can I be Gretel? <laughs> I had your name on the, t- on the tip of my tongue because I'm just watching your Priceline ad on your Instagram. Well, how could I not say your name after that? How fun is it? My <laughs> yes. God. And right up my alley. Great 80s aerobics. Vibing down the street. It's so fun. How many outfits are there all together? I think there's four or five. My favourite is the Madonna one mm. from Desperately Seeking Susan because I remember seeing that and it just changed my life. So when the wardrobe girl gave me the exact, like a replica jacket, I was just squealing. It was so great. And what about you on the front of the Women's Weekly? Oh, my oh God. you're so what gorgeous. A girl. Um, do you like doing those photo shoots? Do you feel a bit weird? Look, I don't mind the photo shoots, but I haven't done publicity for about four five or six years because I just get so anxious with the interviews. I just feel like, you know, I've got nothing to say and it's not very interesting. But because of Would I Lie to You, you're sort of backed into a corner. I've got a new TV show starting on Monday and I've got to be a good girl and do the publicity. But the shoot was lovely and everyone was really kind and it was really fun actually. Did did you keep any of the outfits because they are so hot? They are so hot, but no, I I didn't. And you know me, Joel. I don't know anything about fashion. I've been wearing the same <laughs> active wear for literally yeah, two or three years. <laughs> um, so I don't know what I'm wearing. I took it off and hung it back up. 
Oh, well, it's good that you hung it up because a lot of people don't do that. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. That's my old retail girl coming out. I refold and hang everything up like a good customer. Merchandise it. I do yeah. love, though, how you've knocked Cliff Richard off the cover because he's just got a little thin air. Plus, Chris, Cliff Richard, I'm not done yet. I did notice that. I did notice. No I'm like, for you, Cliff. Wow. I'm a, I'm a bigger story than Cliff Richard. Oh, no. oh, I'm yeah. not done yet. No. <laughs> looks like you are, mate. Don't write me off. Now, Christine, hey, can I just say that? Though, look, in uh, Cliff Richard, how long has it been since you've heard Wired for Sound? Mm. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a, is it look, in the system? It is one of the greatest songs of oh, all we'll get time. That. We'll get that. You've oh, got to go. get it. I've got Devil Woman, actually. Devil Woman's good, but yeah. Wired for Sound is it, the it's one. just better. All right, well, okay, we'll get a bit of Wired for Sound very soon. Yeah, would I like oh, to Oh, she goes. <laughs> oh, no, you okay? We'll get just listen to this if you like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to offer you an apology on our show because I gave you an apology on your show the other morning. Oh, yeah. Read the toenail, the toenail gate that's got on. I was just telling <laughs> Sylvia Studios. about toenail gate. I was Gross. so disgusted and embarrassed that for a, a small window of time <laughs> you thought, that I had peeled oh. my toenails off oh. with my own hands <laughs> and thrown them on the studio floor. I did say, though, Chrissy, that, and this is true because I was one, breakfast radio people are animals. <laughs> and, and, and you tend to act differently from everybody else. <laughs> so that the toenails... But no, no, no. But I'm well, assu- I, I, and I thought that was a bit rough. But who was well, it? We, did you get to the bottom of it? Well, we, we think did. we know. Oh, it's uh, Campbell yeah. Brown. Absolutely. <laughs> 100. <laughs> It's Picking Campbell his toenails Brown. and flicking them on the floor. Yeah. I mean, is there yeah. anything more uh, foul? He always yeah. wears thongs so that he can have access to it. <laughs> <laughs> Did he no. sniff his fingers afterwards? You know, like that German soccer coach. Oh, where he God. Goes, <laughs> he goes like this, but no one knows. He goes... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! If you're picking your toenails off at work, I reckon you're snipping your fingers afterwards. What are oh, you hoping sure. for? When well, he puts he's the hoping fingers for the, to the nose. No, he's hoping for the smell of parmesan cheese, a Grano <laughs> Padano, oh. and that's what he's gonna get. <laughs> yeah. And you know Sorry, what? In other news, bloody podcasters getting in here and picking their toenails in our radio studios. Uh, yes. I know. <laughs> Disgusting. I know, it's our place of work, you little piggies. <laughs> now, would I lie to you, you said it's Monday, 8.30 on 10. Uh, Chris yeah. Taylor, one of my good mates, he's on it with you, and Frank Woodley as well. Um, very funny, very yeah. funny. Mm-hmm. Love a panel show too. There's love not a, enough panel shows love in Love a panel show. Yeah. It is really special. Gosh, it was fun to record. It just felt like the best dinner party ever, so I'm really hoping that... That translates. From what I can gather, it has. They have sent me the first episode, but I'm too nervous oh, yeah. to watch it. Oh, you haven't watched it? No. Oh. So w- what happens? It's like you kind of put like a, a story out there and people have to decide whether it's true or not. Yeah. 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 So each of the... You should do um, the voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> was yeah, that that's the good. elevator? Well done, <laughs> Sylvia. It's a very I good explain. I needed, I needed an auto cue for that. You did very well. <laughs> <laughs> you did very well. Yeah, and their stories from, you know, their their real lives. So um it's really funny and unexpected and it was just a joy. Because it's into its fifty eighth season in the UK, isn't it? I think it was about 150. <laughs> oh, yeah, 150. Yeah, 150th yeah, yeah. season. Because they it's... love a panel show. Like they yeah. love, love a panel. Just men and sitting at a desk. <laughs> they're mad for it. Mad <laughs> real for it. Add clever. A, add a bit of Dawn French and yeah. that Margulies woman in there yeah. and bang. Margulies. Yeah. Margulies. Miriam Margulies. Yes, yes. Margulies. Sitting there going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's the Margulies best. Margulies woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look, we'll watch that on uh, Monday night, uh, Channel 10 at yeah, 8.30. Can't wait. Now, you're back at, for Quick Draw. What is, what is your Quick Draw history with us? Uh, you played she Joel thrashed 2020. Me last time. I think I did, but I think it was like a pity win. I really don't think I have one fair and square. And you've had a few bouts with Kate Ritchie. So you're going yeah. up against Sylvia today, which I think is fantastic. Mm. I'm not very good. Either so, am I. Not, that's great. No, you're great. No, Chrissy. you're very um, good. I think I'm one... All with Kate. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. We were thinking, though, because Syl's been here with us this week, Chrissy. I mm. feel like she's a bit more warmed up to us now. So that either might work in her favour. Because, you know, when you walk in off the street to do something, you're yeah. like, oh, oh, I've got to match everyone's vibe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But yeah. you're both match fit. You're both workers. Yeah. You know? You're both working girls. Yeah. We're both we're <laughs> working mums. Working mums. Working mums. How do they do it? How do they, I'm in awe of you. Don't ask. Oh, yeah, I'm in awe you of, can both have, of you. You can have it all, but not all at once, <laughs> Sylvia. <laughs> 
All right, here's how it Healthy works. Healthy work-life balance, by the way. <laughs> juggle, Chrissy. Yeah, it's, so it's always a juggle. You know how it is. It's All those plates in the air at once. Yes, mm. yes. Actually, do we have ScoMo giving us the rules? Let's get ScoMo giving us the rules oh, before we get into the practice right. question. Yeah, just, a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because Scott Morris and Chrissy gave us the quick draw rules. We just asked as a joke on We're air and sure they why. rocked up in our inbox two days later. Um, so here Did it is. he have his it's ukulele at the time? No, no, no. This is much better. Four. If both contestants... Oh, four. We're starting with four. Can I get the rules? There we go. This is ScoMo, and this is the official quick door rules for 2022. <laughs> Rule number one, your first response to the question is your final answer. Two, if you answer incorrectly, your opponent has a reasonable amount of time to respond with their answer. This? Rule number three, when answering with a person's name, yep. the first letter of their first or <laughs> last name will be considered an acceptable answer. Got that so far? Four, yep. if both contestants answered at the same time, the winner is the person who stated the correct answer first. In instances where this cannot be clearly determined, oh God, the answers up. are null and void. I out about three and sentences five, ago. As with various <laughs> professional sporting games, human error is sometimes unavoidable. Be a good sport and above all, have fun. But my favourite rule and the, the last one, it's only oh three God. seconds. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, practice question, then we'll come back for okay. real. Okay. All right. <laughs> As the Prime Minister of our country. I mean, that. can we yes. do better than that? <laughs> wow. Here we go. Giving you autonomous control. Okay. Name. So yes, I know. <laughs> Name something you'd see at a TV studio, starting with C. Chrissy, camera. Camera. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. You... Is my name my buzzer or do I just no, say it? No, didn't you hear the rules? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Can we play the rules again? <laughs> Please don't. But, but Chrissy Please is don't. something starting with C that you'll see in the TV yeah. studio. That's, That's true. Monday night eight thirty. Would I lie to you on ten? That's not going to work for all the questions though. <laughs> uh, this is Lano. Chrissy Swans here playing Quick Draw versus Sylvia Jeffries for real next. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Got some big baby energy in here right now. We've got two working mums about to play each other in quick draw. I mean, is this any more 2022? Oh, we're, so, we're so progressive. Oh Trailblazers. Mm. <laughs> Just breaking new ground. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Commercial radio is not white bread, guys. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> is it white bread? No. Uh, Chrissy Swan is here. It is time for a quick draw. Hey, Tim and Joel's quick draw. We're talking Would I Lie to You starting Monday at 8.30 on Channel 10. Some very funny people on the panel as regulars. And then obviously some big guests through the weeks as well. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Please don't tell me. We filmed it in December and I can't remember anything that happened. I just know that you. it was fun. Now I, have I quickly to... jump in here and say that yeah. I'm scoring because this is the last time you'll hear me on today's show. So. <laughs> <laughs> From your it's hotel room on the Goldie. Yeah. yeah. I know. We're doing, we're doing the whole East Coast today. We've got Melbourne. We've got Sydney. Yeah. We've got Gold Coast. Gold Coast, Coast represented. Mm. Although, as I said, Amazing. Melbourne's not technically East Coast, is it? Well, no. it's considered an eastern state. It is, yes. isn't it? Yes, mm. yes, yes. Anyway, it's not the time or the place. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's boring, isn't it? <laughs> what do you mean we started off with the difference between the English language is a crazy thing, isn't it? That's how today's show started. Yeah, it's been a busy day, Chris. I'm not sure what you covered on your show today. Okay, here I can't we go. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one okay. best of seven, first of four. Name a popular dog's name starting with B. Chrissy! Well, I wrote Bob. a book. Oh, no, <laughs> sorry, I've done it again. Sorry, I've used my name as my buzzer. I, I wrote a book when I was about seven years old and the dog's name was Buxom. And I didn't know that Buxom meant giant boobs. And uh, my teacher thought it was hilarious. Buxom. Can I get it? Well, we're going with Bob because uh, still you listen to the rules. rules. Yes. <laughs> okay, I've got to, I've got to Even though we explain them for the two minutes of that song as well. I'm sorry. I don't feel good beating Chrissy. And though. also, ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. I've got to stop right. that. Just Question. yell out the end. Just yell out the end. Question two Name an animal starting with E. Elephant. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was about to say Chrissy. <laughs> I, I could see you were about to say Chrissy. Oh God, I'm Chrissy. so bad at this. Chrissy, bringing shame the on my Come entire on. family. Maybe okay, it's your mum brain. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's my mum oh, brain. It's a busy working mum, busy Sylvia. Working. It's the mum fault. Have you got yes. something in the slow cooker for when you get home you put on at 10 o'clock this morning? <laughs> Yes. Yes, of course. I'll just say yes. Yes, of course. Uh, Question number three. Name another word for lie, starting with F. Fib. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. Oh, my God, I'm so pretty bad. good. Christine Swan. 
I can't Come even on, think mate. of them. <laughs> this is why. See, I use all my word smithery on Wordle in the morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I got to see it today. I was pretty I'm, excited. I'm all oh, out no, by this say. time. <laughs> Okay, this right. is well. This is oh, actually yeah. pretty big. This is for the win, Sylvia. To stay in the game, Ooh. Chrissy. Oh, God. That was a perfect opportunity for me to do that. Yeah, no, you go ahead. I'll, I'll post that Instagram. I'll post that photo I just took oh, you about, should, mate. You should, you I'll should. do that. You guys finish the game. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so bad. Have another club sandwich. Have a swim. Oh, um, question four. Mm. Name something that comes in pairs, starting with S. Shorts. Yes, that is true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I couldn't that even think of anything. What the hell Socks. was I even doing here? Socks. Sandals. Sneakers. Sisters. I still can't think of one. <laughs> oh. To the plastic A-M-M-M, I feel so ecstatic now. Because it's music I found. Buy and this I'm week's Women's Weekly town. for Chrissy Swan and also for Cliff Richards. I'm not done yet. <laughs> yes. A lovely to what see you. What a tune. You. Good luck with the show Monday night. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm bro- I've just brought my own name into terrible. It's uh, fine. It's awful. But it's thank fine. you for having me. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Sorry, I won. I don't feel good about it. It's all right. There was no other way I was going to go. <laughs> Joel, anything you want to add? Oh, <laughs> great guy. She said, I'm not a girl if you don't have a standby. I am a girl who demands that I love this amplified. Switching to overdrive. Oh, 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 Thank you, Calvin. It's Kate, Tim and Joel here on Nova with Sylvia Jeffries. Thank you to Chrissy Swan for popping in. And well done on the win. Not only a win, the blitzing. It was a bit of a blitz, wasn't it? It was straight sets. I know. Oh, a blitz feels good. I blitzed Christian Wilkins. That, that, that. <laughs> oh, you really <laughs> did. I him a couple of weeks ago. And then you played right? quick draw with him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wasn't he looking amazing <gasps> on the weekend? Gorgeous. Oh, my and, goodness. Um, oh, speaking of miniskirts. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Christian would own some mini skirts. Some, yes, some, some hot. He is skirts. he is the most attractive person I know. Whoa, uh, whoa. Yeah, we're right here. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! I know. I've you know chunked it up lately. <laughs> yeah, I whoa. know. Just because he's a boomba. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna go eat my feelings now. <laughs> Uh, what's happening on the Gold Coast tonight, Joel? You just showed us a picture of Draculas. Oh, um, there's an all-you-can-eat down at the Harvest Cafe, so I'll be down there. Right? Delicious. Um, <laughs> go, no, I'm off to rehearsal. And then rehearsal. pop into Melba's a bit later. Melba's. Yeah. It's always fun okay. at Melba's. Now, we're is only there gonna... a podium? Always. Oh, is there? Okay. Yes. There's a po- podium at George's Seafood on, in Marina Mirage as well. Is there? Okay. Yeah, a podium of white rice, fluffy rice. <laughs> <Fish> <laughs> yeah, all the, all the only way to eat your fish. Is it? Yes. I don't know about that. Um, we're only going to hear you for an hour tomorrow. So Sylvia and I will be running uh, running the show from four and we get to give away the 50K. So make sure you get on air tonight in the morning, download the Nova Player app and you can do that tomorrow. Ex- so I get, get to a give good away night, money. Get a good <gasps> night's sleep. I'm going to race yeah. home straight to bed. Yes. It's a big job. Enjoy Thursday on the Gold Coast. We'll see you tomorrow. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.